All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be reviewing the latest novel by David Baldacci Balducci. I don't know how to pronounce the last name, I'm sorry, but the novel is called Simply Lies, and it came out about a month ago. Now, we are going to get into non-spoilers first as a review, and then later on I will get into a few spoilers, because I do want to talk about a few things, but I will specifically mention when we get into the spoilers. So... For David, uh, this is the eighth novel that I've read from him, and I really enjoy his work for the most part, especially his John Puller series. I really enjoyed all four of those books. However, having said that, Simply Lies is by far his weakest that I've read and also one of the weakest books that I've ever read in my life. Granted, for the most part, I pick books that I just end up getting really lucky and enjoying. And another thing that I think is affecting this is that the older that I get and the more books that you read, the more you're able to tear apart a story and the characters and all that. And you're really dissecting everything. That's what I do anyway. The more movies that I've watched, the more video games that I've played, the more books that I've read, I start to kind of see themes that continue to show up as, as everyone does, and tropes and all that kind of stuff. So that does come into play as well. But this, I did not enjoy. Um, it, it, so it starts off with a, uh, a single mother who used to be a detective and she's left that life to become a, 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 a to take care of her children essentially. And she got a job at Pro Eye, which is basically she's she's kind of like an investigator that works from home, looking for digital finances, that that kind of thing. And her name, so her name's Mickey Gibson. And what happens is that she gets called upon by a colleague to go check out this house and 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 and, and appraise it because there's going to be something going on and, and I think they're potentially selling the home or something like that. And she has to go and check out, uh, out this house. And when she goes there, she ends up finding a dead body. Now the colleague of hers that sent her there on this job ends up being not a real person. And it's starting to look really suspicious to, on the detective side that Mickey Gibson showed up and then called in, Hey, I found a dead body in a house, but the, the person that told me to come here doesn't work for pro I, and they can't find any reference of this person at all. And what happens is that that person that called her in used a fictitious name to get her involved into this murder and to try to figure things out on her end because Mickey used to be an ex detective, but she's a mother now. And the motivations for Mickey to, to decide to take on this case as a civilian that has knowledge of, of everything because she used to be a detective is because she's bored as a mother and wants to do something meaningful. And that's essentially it. And the other thing is that the person that got her to do this is extremely manipulative. manipulative. And Mickey knows that she's being manipulated to do all of this and put her in harm's way and her children in harm's way. And Mickey still decides to go along with this. And that by far was the worst part of this. The actual story and the plot and the, 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 the twists and turns that they have in here are okay. They're not horrible. They're not great either. I've heard, I've read much better. They're kind of in the middle. What I was hoping for was to at least have some characters that I could agree with and side with and some character progression or a character that I would like. And I found none of that in here. Mickey Gibson, because of the motivations that she had, like... The other thing too is that she they, they constantly remind you that she's a mother and she has two toddlers or around that age and they're just there. They're just there to remind you that she's a mother and they constantly, like he constantly shows, oh, the kids are here and they're eating. The kids are here and they're eating. They rarely talk to their mother. They have a few lines here and there and there's nothing really substantial about it at all other than the, the reminder that, hey, she's still a mother and that's the reason why she's doing this, I guess. And it's it, it just, it's very backwards in my opinion it doesn't make any sense if somebody put me in harm's way and i had kids and my kids are now in harm's way or they they might lose me because that i'm in harm's way and i could get arrested for a murder that i had nothing to do with i would be pretty damn upset and i wouldn't decide to help out this person that's manipulating me constantly at such extreme levels that she's using an audio uh some kind of audio machine that lets her know uh, if Mickey, like what Mickey's feeling in terms of her emotions, it's insane. <laughs> I'm just like, and she has specific notes on what to do for each call. And that, while that can be somewhat interesting, I just felt so upset at this person for manipulating at that such a high level 
that I hated her character, and I didn't really like Mickey for jo joining on either. So that just bothered me throughout the entire novel, and it really didn't help near the end when things start to get going. Like, things start to get going, and it gets a little bit more interesting, but because that I have no real care for any of the characters, it didn't help at all. And it has to do with the mob, and generally I don't really... Mob, mob things don't really get me that excited either uh, it was just kind of there and i will give this a two out of five stars i did not expect that it, it maybe it's 2.5 something like that i think i'm going to give it a two stars on uh goodreads because it's more closer to the two than it is the three i was not happy with it and now we are going to finally get into the spoilers because i just want to talk a little bit the character that mickey is talking to i, I think her name is clarice and she ends up actually being the daughter of of, of the person that was murdered. She gets away and ends up joining forces with Mickey and they live happily ever after at the end. Now, Mickey, you kind of expect that to happen. She's kind of the main character. But this other character that was manipulating her, I wanted her to die in the most horrific of ways, knowing she had failed because she manipulates everyone around her. She uses them. And it's clear that she's, she's using them. It's like some people should have realized it much quicker, especially Mickey. That's Mickey knew the entire time and she didn't care. It's And, and she, then she slowly forms a bond with her. And I didn't like that at all. It just made no sense to me. Um, and then she gets away with it and they become friends at the end. And I was like, no, I wanted her to die. It's just, or, or at least fail horribly and go to prison, something like that, because I just did not like her character. And I hated that she got away with it and becomes friends and becomes a good guy at the end. That just, ah, uh, it did not make any sense. Sometimes you can have somebody go from one side to the other, but they, they go through p the pain of seeing that they were wrong. And it's a progressive transition. And we didn't get that. You wouldn't be able to do it in one novel, I don't think, or unless you're really focused on that pretty much throughout. And we didn't get that at all. So I didn't enjoy this. Uh, I'm, I'm still a big fan of this author. I'm going to be picking up uh, his next book that I think is the uh, sequel to 620 Man, which I, I enjoyed much more than this. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But this one is a, a pass for me, unless what I told you kind of excites you so there you go that is my review for simply lies let me know in the comments below if you've read this and uh, we'll talk to you all next time you've been bearded in beardage